One of the first things my brothers taught me was you can go on every corner and find a six pack of Bud Light for $4.99 plus tax and deposit. What are you going to do to make sure that they come here to get it? And it stuck with me. It's always about customer service. How you doing? Because they could go to any single store they wanted to. And for that reason, we had people who would pass two or three liquor stores just to come hang out with us. And that's what it was. They were hanging out with us. I'm Mark Atula, associate broker at Doby. We are at Danny's Liquor. This is my brother's liquor store, the industry that molded me. So M&K Liquor was the store on 11 and Rye that I grew up in. 80% of the people that came in weren't just regulars. They were every day. They buy nothing. And we would just, we just hung out. It was literally the corner store. Some people confide in their hairdresser or their barbers. We were those guys. I am the youngest of seven. I think what we all understood was that we each had our role. One brother took care of liquor. One brother took care of beer. One brother took care of wine. That was my job. It was like, here's your role, this is what you do, and we just did it the best we possibly could. When you're self-employed, there's no big company matching your 401k. So me and my brothers got together and we were like, hey, I think we need to buy some rental property. This is gonna be, this is gonna be our retirement plan. One of us had to get a real estate license. <laughs> um, so that ended up becoming me. A family member found out I got my license, a friend, they started reaching out and it really just kind of took off from there. Being thrown into work at a young age, it's crazy because literally everything I probably complained about back then is everything I am grateful for today. I can put out 60 hours a week and not blink. It's simple for me. I was doing it my whole life. When my father was looking for a house, the realtor asked my dad, he's like, well, what kind of house are you looking for? And his answer was, I want a house that when I'm happy, I can go home to, and when I'm stressed, I can go home to. The reason why it sticks with me is because you don't find those kinds of answers asking for how many bedrooms, baths, and square feet you're looking for. Like this is where you really have to dive in and get to know the customer to truly help them. You know, makes sense?